Hey guys, I hope you're all doing really well. Today I'm so excited to be sharing with you the second update for Roulette Pan Collab. This is a collaboration project pan that my friend Alexi and I started forever ago. We're currently on the seventh round of this project, which is just like crazy when I think about it. But if you haven't checked out Alexi's channel, I highly suggest that you do. I'm sure by now that most of you guys have. And if you haven't, you're really sleeping on it. Definitely go and check out her channel because she has amazing project panning content. She's super, super inspirational when it comes to project panning. And she's very, very inspiring in her makeup technique. Honestly, every time I watch one of Alexi's channels, I'm like, how the heck did she do that? Like with her eyeshadow looks, they're just phenomenal and I'm always inspired by what she creates. So definitely go and check out her channel. And once you've done that, definitely check out the playlist so you can see everyone else that's participating in this project as well. I'll have that linked in the cards as well as in the description box of my video. And for even more panning content, I highly recommend going over to Instagram and checking out the hashtag roulette pan collab um, and giving that hashtag a follow if you really love panning content like myself. This is just such a fun project pan. I cannot wait to share with you guys all of my updates, so let's just hop right on into it. My first pick was for the prompt a category that you are best at panning, so I chose this e.l.f. lip gloss or lip oil rather because I find glossy kind of products are just the easiest for me personally. This is the e.l.f. lip oil in the shade Nude Kiss, and as you can probably tell from there, I used up every last little bit of this product. I took out the stopper and I scraped it all completely out. I think last update I was down at like the very bottom here anyway, so I think you guys knew that I was going to be done with this, but I really enjoyed using this. It's not the most like long lasting kind of hydration, but it definitely offers a little hint of hydration to the lips and it makes everything, I don't know, just feel a little bit more juicy. And I did really, really love using this, especially when I was at school because I could just reach into my bag, grab this, toss it on my lips and not even have to use a mirror or anything like that. But I am happy to get it out of my collection because I do have a lot of like lip gloss kind of products still kicking around. I don't need a replacement for this anytime soon, but I really did enjoy using this. And it goes to show that it is the category that I'm best at panning because Spoiler alert, I haven't hit any of my other goals yet. And the next product was for the prompt, a product that starts with the first letter of your first name. And for that, I kind of cheated a little bit. I bent the rules, definitely. And I chose this RMS Beauty lipstick. This is in the shade Temptation. I just did not feel like picking something that was like R, like red or something like that. So I went for Temptation, which is this like mauve deep, nude kind of shade. I don't really know how to describe this. Every time I wear it, I feel like it's way more bold than I expect it to be based on what it looks like in the bullet. And it's very, very pinky for my preferences, but I have reached for it a handful of times. I, again, am nowhere near my goal with this one. My goal is to use up half of the product and I'm about halfway to that goal. So I might be able to reach that goal by the end of this project pan, but I have to definitely amp up my usage over the next few months in order to do that. This past month, I think I wore it twice. I haven't really been wearing makeup all that much either, but yeah, I think I wore it only like two times. So next month I'd love to use it maybe like three or four times and see if I can get closer to that goal by actually using it like once a week. My next pick was for the category, a brand that's only available in your country. And I chose this Annabelle Waterline Luminous Eye Pencil in the shade Champagne. Apparently Annabelle is available in other countries, but I didn't realize that at the time, but either way. So I have not even gotten close to my goal on this one. As I said in my last update, I don't love this. I have used it in a couple different ways based on your suggestions. I really like the suggestion of using it as like a brow bone highlight or an inner corner highlight, but I just don't find myself reaching for it very frequently either of those ways because honestly, even though it is very smooth when I swatch it, it always looks patchy no matter how I apply it um, basically anywhere in my eye area. So I haven't really used this too much in my waterline. Um, basically, I've just been using it once I've put my concealer on as my eyeshadow primer, I'll kind of just use it to slightly highlight under my brow bone and then I'll set my entire eyelid after that. So I've really been using it very, very minimally and not 
Not all that frequently. However, I did make more progress than I did last month because I was reaching for it and using it in a, like a larger area than previously. But my goal is to get it down to the X right here. And as you can see, there still is about an inch or so of product remaining um, from this point forward. And there's only two months left in this project. So not sure if I'll be able to reach this goal, but either way, I'm working towards it and I'm getting use out of this product that uh, now I've come to realize I don't absolutely love, but I'm trying to figure out a way to make it work for me. My next prompt was a product from a holiday or limited edition collection. And for that, I chose the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in the shade Blow Me Out. This is a beautiful, like bronzy kind of highlighter shade. But as you can tell, probably it's a little bit too deep for me. I swatched it already here and you can see it has quite a bit of that bronzy kind of base pigment. It's almost like slightly orange. I don't want to say that in a bad way. It's it is quite beautiful, but it definitely leans a little bit orange on my complexion. So I haven't really worn it all that much this past month, especially considering that my, my tan is completely faded and we're nowhere near summery kind of weather here. But if I do end up doing a tan this month or something, maybe I will be able to reach for this a little bit more. I don't really have a goal set in mind for this product anyways. I just wanted to reach for it and use it and kind of get some enjoyment out of it. Last month, I used it quite a lot underneath of my foundations, underneath of my complexion products to give my skin a little bit of a luminous glow. And I'm gonna try to reach for it far more frequently this coming month than I did the past month. And hopefully I can make a little bit more visual progress by next update. This next product was for the category, a color you're always drawn to but rarely wear. And for that, I chose my ColourPop BFF Volumizing Mascara in the shade Purple Prose. It's a beautiful, purple kind of mascara color, but I am always drawn to the idea of colorful mascaras. I just often forget to reach for them and to wear them and to integrate them into looks. And even though this is a part of this project, I must admit, I think I wore it maybe once this past month. So progress is extremely minimal. Um, of course, you can't really see any sort of visual progress with a product like this anyways, but even in terms of the weight, it's really not really, changed all that much it went down 0 0.03 grams so very minimal change in weight unfortunately this is starting to get extremely dried out i have had it for over a year so i'm honestly just going to declutter it once this project is over i don't even know if i'll reach for it that many more times through this project pan but i just don't feel like quite ready to part with it yet but either way it is beautiful when I do integrate it into looks. I just honestly forget to reach for it. And it's a color that I, I really do love. And I love the way it looks on my lower lashes. I think it's so fun to play with it on my lower lashes. I just rarely wear it, even still that it's in a project pan. And the last product that is currently in this project, I chose for the prompt yellow, which was for, product, for the product or for the packaging. And for that, I chose this product right here. This is the Physicians Formula Butter Blush. I'm so happy this is a part of this project because Physicians Formula is no longer cruelty-free in my eyes. And I chose this for the yellow font and l little hints of yellow on the packaging. But inside it is this beautiful, just glowy blush. I have it on today actually as more of like a blush topper. I don't often wear it just exclusively on its own. I usually put something else underneath of it. And I feel like it really helps to just diffuse any other complexion products and just give this healthy looking glow. I still have not had pan on it though. And this is shocking because this was not only in this project pan since the beginning, but it was in a previous round of this project. And I honestly would have thought that I would have hit pan by now, but that's okay. I'm still working on it. There are some serious rings in here though, guys. So as you can probably tell, there is a decent sized dip. There's no way this is gonna be sticking around for too, too much longer. I'm really hoping to hit that goal next month, but I am enjoying it. I do really like it. I'm happy it's a part of this project because I am getting use out of my non-cruelty free products and I'm hopefully gonna work it out of my collection sooner than later this way. And I'm enjoying it while it is still a part of my uh, collection as well. So because I was able to finish off this lip oil, I am gonna be rolling something new into this project pan, which is always my favorite part of these updates. I always love when I can roll something new in. And I have now 94 categories left in the spreadsheet because I do have these initial six products 
removed or six prompts rather removed from the spreadsheet. So I'm down to 94 categories and we're just going to pick one of them. So between one and 94 in the pretty random app, we're just going to choose one number and I chose number 40. So number 40 in my spreadsheet is likely different than yours because I eliminated all six categories that I've already had. So number 40 for me is a product that twists up and I chose this ColourPop No Filter Sticks in the shade Light 67N. This is currently in my Shop My Stash. I started my first ever Shop My Stash series this month and I have been really enjoying reaching for this. I haven't used it a ton but I really do love the finish that it gives and I really like the way that it looks on my complexion and I have been really really happy to be reaching for it because this honestly I wore it for my 28th birthday I wore it back in November and then I hadn't touched it since then so I'm so happy to be reintroducing it a little bit into my routine now I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with this I don't necessarily want to use a certain amount of product because I don't like to apply a ton of this I like to apply very little and then shear it out with my sponge so I don't necessarily want to set myself a goal of like amount of product used. I think I'm going to set a number of uses goal and I've never done that with the project, but I think that would be the most suitable to a product like this. So I'd like to use it 15 times. I think in two months that's entirely attainable. I don't love wearing full coverage or medium coverage foundations on the daily. So it's not going to be something I reach for, you know, 20 times in a month or 15 times in one month, but 15 times is realistic for me for the next two months for sure. And I may even surpass that. We'll see, but it'll be fun to keep a tally and to play around with this for the next two months for sure. And I just realized I have now three ColourPop products in this project pan. It is what it is. And yeah, I, I'm really excited to not only play with that product, but all the other products for the next couple months, but I'm really hoping, really, really hoping that I can hit my goal on this by the next update. I'd really like to see some pan on this guy for the next update. Otherwise, I really don't think I'm going to be rolling anything new in to this project pan if I don't hit my goal on this one. But either way, the roundup of, pro or the collection of products that I have here is, Definitely something I'm excited to use for the next couple months. And yeah, that's absolutely everything for today's video. Do not forget to go and check out the playlist and the hashtag over on Instagram. And yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching and for hanging out with me. I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.